Hi everyone, <clears throat> in this video we are looking at sequences and something called finding the nth term okay which sounds a little bit strange um, but once we've done it a few times you'll get used to it and it won't seem so strange after all so we're looking at sequences and finding the nth term okay so this is our sequence 2, 5, 8, 11 and we're going to answer these three questions related to this sequence okay uh, it seems quite simple um, but you'll see how there are some questions which come up which are not practical unless you use the method I show you okay so the first question is quite simple to work out the next three terms so that's quite simple so you know that there's a difference of three between each, between each number okay so 11 okay that's gonna add three and that's gonna be 14 we're gonna add three to that that's gonna be 17 we're gonna add three to that and that's gonna be 20 okay so the first sorry the next three terms of the sequence would be 14 17 and 20 so that was nice and easy okay then it says work out the nth term right so as you know from our algebra lessons n can be any number however in order to work it out we need to use a formula which I'm going to give you um, and at this stage it's really useful if you have a pen and paper handy or you, you can use your books and make notes as we go along you can pause this video make notes work it out with me as we go along and then in, uh, towards the end of the video I'm going to give you a couple of examples you pause the video work it out and then see if your answers match mine so the formula I'm going to give you is a really important one it's this one here it's not going to make much sense to you while I'm writing it um, but I'll explain what it means it's dn plus a minus d okay so let's label this d is the difference between each term okay so difference between each term is what d is so just to remind you again this is my first term this is my second term this is my third term this is my fourth term this is my fifth term this is my sixth term this is my seventh term so my first term in this sequence is two my second term in this sequence is five so the difference between each term is three because as you know they go up by three each time n is n is the term number so you can label that as well term number a is the first term in the sequence so in this particular sequence let's just uh, go over that again the difference between each term is three the term number is are these okay because I might say to you what's the fifth term so that means my n would be five and then my first term is going to be the first number in the sequence which is two and what we normally do is we, we, we write this, we write DNA. So in lesson, I might say to you, work out the DNA of this sequence. So the D is going to be the difference between each term, which is 3. The term number is going to be N. We're going to leave this as N for the time being. And A is the first term of the sequence, which is 2. Now when it says work out the nth term, we basically put these details into this formula and the answer we get is the answer to this question so we're going to do that now and we're going to do it a couple uh, another and we're going to have another go as well um, and then you're going to try yourself so when we're working out the nth term our d is going to be three for this particular sequence n is going to stay the same plus a in this sequence is the first term which is two and D is the difference between each term. So it's the same D as this one, which is 3. Notice how I'm... Uh, this is also a type of layout, how I'm putting each term, each number underneath the letter, so that I don't get any... Con there's no confusion. So th this stays as 3N, plus 2 minus 3. You've got to be very careful here. This is a minus number. 2 minus 3 is minus 1. And as you know, when you see a plus and a minus together, sometimes they're separated by black brackets, a plus and a, a positive and a negative always make a negative. So the nth term of this formula, oh sorry, the nth term of this sequence is 3n minus 1. So when they ask you to work out the nth term, they're basically asking you to work out what the formula is for this term. Okay? So now you've got the formula, you can work out what the 20th term is. Because here, n is going to be 20. 
Okay? So the 20th term is going to be 3 times 20, which is 60, minus 1, which is 59. Okay? So this this is the most important thing of this from this formula because this allows you to work out any term. So just for an example, we know that the fifth term in this formula, we worked it out as 14. But let's use this formula to work out the fifth term. So if we're using the fifth term to work it out, we know that n is going to be 5. 3 times 5 is 15. Minus 1 is 14. Oops, 14. So this is our fifth term, and the fifth term was 14. So let's try it with this uh, sequence now. So we've got 7, 11, 15, 19, and 23. So the first thing you need to do is look at the difference between each number. That's our D. All right, the difference between each number is 4. So we know that they go up by 4. And if we know that they go up by 4, we can answer the first part of the question very simply, simply because we're just adding 4 to 23, which gives us 27. And then we'll add 4 to 27 and get 31. And then add 4 to that and get 35. So that's quite simple. The, f the next three terms of this sequence. The next thing we need to work out is uh, the nth term. So let's write the formula again. It's d n plus a minus d. And remember what d is. d is the difference between each term. So the first thing I do is I always write dna on the side. a, if you remember, is the first term of the sequence, which is 7. And n is going to stay as n for the time being, because we're just trying to work out the formula for this sequence. And remember, this is my first term, this is my second term, this is my third term, this is my fourth term, this is my fifth term, etc, etc, etc. So this formula can save you a lot of time, because if the question asks you to work out the sixth term, you just add four. But if it asks you to work out the 80th term, you'd be there all day, adding four, adding four, adding four, etc, etc. So let's work out the nth term. So D is the difference between each number, between each number in the sequence, which is 4. N stays as it is, plus A minus D. A is 7. D is 4. So it's 4N plus 3. So this is the formula of my sequence. So when they say, when they say work out the nth term, like I said before, I don't know why they don't just ask you to work out the formula of the sequence. When they say work out the nth term, this is what they're after. They're after the formula. If the question says work out the 20th term now, that means that 20 is going to be n. So you just put 20 in there. So 4 times 20 is 80. Add 3 is equal, oops, is equal to 83. That means the 20th term is going to be 83 in this sequence. Look how quick that is. Once you've got this, you can work out the, eight, the, the 20th term rather than adding 4, adding 4, adding 4, all the way up to 20. So here is a sequence I'd like you to try by yourself. If you think you've got the hang of um, this topic from my example, which I showed you earlier, you can pause the video. Um, but before you do so, I'll give you a hint. Remember, you need to work out the D, the N, and the A to work out these two. Okay, well, n is going to be n for this one, but for for um, for this question here, find out the 20th term, you'll use the formula you've worked out there. Okay, so if you think you know what you're doing, work out the DNA, pause the video, and then once you think you've got your answer to these three questions here, unpause and then check to see if your um, answers match mine. Okay. Okay, if you had a go, you will notice the first thing you'll do is you'll see that there's a difference of 6 each time. Okay, there's a gap of 6. So 22 plus 6 makes 28. And then we're adding 6 to this one makes 34. Okay, so that's the f answer to the first question here. Work out the next two terms. And then it says work out the nth term. And remember what we did earlier. The first thing you need to do is write down the formula. dn plus a minus d okay and you need to work at your d which is 6 we know that already n is going to remain as n for the time being because we asked we're, we're being asked to work out the nth term and then to work out the 20th term uh, we're going to use the formula so a is 4 because that's the first term in the sequence so let's put these in here 
So D is 6, so it becomes 6N plus A, which is 4, minus D, which is 6. Notice how even this is a layout. I'm putting everything underneath the original letters to make sure there's no confusion. Don't try to do this in your head. So 6N stays as 6N plus 4 minus 6 is minus 2. And as you know, a positive and a negative make a negative. 6n minus 2 is the formula for this se sequence. Okay, so the nth term for this sequence is 6 minus 2. As I said earlier, I don't know why they don't just say work out the formula for this sequence. They usually say work out the nth term, and that's what you've done here. Then it says work out the 20th term. That means n is going to be 20. Okay, so 6 times 20 is 120 minus 2 is 118 that means the 20th term in this particular sequence would be 118 so you can see why it's very important to first work out the DNA and then put the numbers in the right place and work out this this is really important to work out the 10th term or the 20th term or the 80th term otherwise you would just be there all day adding 6 adding 6 adding 6 until you get the right answer okay so hopefully you understood that. If you didn't, rewind it, watch it again. Um, now that's not all. Now sometimes they will give you the formula and they'll ask you to write down the first three or maybe five terms of the sequence. And that's what we're going to do now. So have a look over here. We've been given a formula. We've been given the nth term already in the question. And they're saying write down the first four terms of the sequence of 3n plus 5. So we're, we're after the first four terms. 1, 2, 3, 4. This is going to be my first term. This is going to be my second term. This is going to be my third term. And this is going to be my fourth term. So this is the opposite of what we've done. In the early part of the video, we were working out the nth term. Here, the nth term, the formula of the sequence has been given to us, but we're working out the actual sequence itself. So here's the formula, 3n plus 5. The first term is going to be n is 1. In the first term, because the term number is 1, n is 1. Okay? So 3 times 1 is 3, plus 5 is 8. The second term, n is 2. Second term, n is 2. 2 times 3 is 6. 6 plus 5 is 11. In the third term, n is 3. Okay? Third term, n is 3. 3 times 3 is 9. 9 plus 5 is 14. In the fourth term, n is 4. Okay, remember, n is the term number from our DNA. n is the term number. So, fourth, 4 times 3 is 12. 12 plus 5, 17. Okay, so now what I'd like you to do is I'd like you to have a go. Um, and I'd like you to have a go at working out the first four terms of the sequence of 2n minus 4. Okay, so I'll give you a hint. The first term, n is going to be 1. The second term, n is going to be 2. The third term, n is going to be 3, etc., etc., etc. So pause the video, have a go, and then come back and have a look at how I've done it. And then hopefully your answers match mine. Okay, so this is what we did. First term, n is 1. 2 times 1 is 2. Minus 4 is minus 2. Yep, it's a sequence. You can still have a minus number. Okay, 2 times 1 is 2. Just let's do that again. 2 times 1 is 2. 2 minus 4 is minus 2. Think about, think about a number line and think about where 2 is and where we're subtracting 4. We're going backwards this way. Second term is um, where n is 2. Okay, so 2 times 2 is 4. 4 minus 4 is 0 third term, n is 3. 3 times 2 is 6. 6 minus 4 is 2. Fourth term, n is 4. 2 times 4 is 8. 8 minus 4 is 4. Okay, it's a bit of a weird one, but as you know in maths, if you've got a formula, you put the number in the right place, the answers might look a, a bit strange, a little bit wrong, but it is what it is, and this is, um, this is, the, this is the correct answer. Okay, so hopefully this was useful to you. Um, it is worth making notes while you're watching this video 
and it's also worth watching this again um, just to make sure you've understood it fully. Thank you.